Welcome to a new episode, episode 42 of PSRE Math series on ABCD. In this PSRE Math series, we'll be going through questions that PSRE students might find it difficult to solve. In our previous episode, we went through question 1 of worksheet 21. Today, we'll be going through question 3. Just a side note, you'll be able to find the link to the Google Docs for this question in the description below. Now, let's get started. The game shop sells three different types of cartoon stickles. Initially, 30% of them are Hello Kitty stickles. Among the remaining stickles, 60% are Pokemon stickles and 40% are One Piece stickles. Two-thirds of the Hello Kitty stickles and 4% of the One Piece stickles were sold on the first day. The shopkeeper immediately brought more Hello Kitty and Pokemon stickles. Now, there are 50% more Pokemon stickles and 4 times more Hello Kitty stickles than there were before. As compared to the beginning, there are 111 more stickles now. Find out the number of Hello Kitty stickles, Pokemon stickles, and One Piece stickles at the beginning. Mm. So for this question, we are going to draw a similar diagram as question 1. So the game shop has 30% Hello Kitty stickles, which will then um, be sold, uh, uh, total will be sold, and then they will increase 4 times. Okay, then for the remaining 70%, it will be Pokemon and One Piece stickles. Then the Pokemon stickles will be 60% of the 70%, and the One Piece will be the remaining 40% of the 70%. For Pokemon stickles, there's an increase of 50% later on. For One Piece, there will be minus off of 4%, which is sold. Okay, so and there's one, one, one more now. Okay, so over here, we are going to use the same. Um, concept as we did in question 1. So we are cal start calculating from Pokemon because it's the easiest. Okay. Okay, number of Pokemon. That'll be equals to, um, okay. So initially, uh, among the 70%, 60% are Pokemon stickers. And there's an increase of 50%. So now, initially it's 100%, now it's 150%. Okay, um, the 100% refers to this part. Uh. This part is the 100%, which is what it has initially. Okay, the 100% does not mean the 100% over here. Okay, the 100% refers to here, the amount of Pokemon stickles. So therefore, we actually need to time 1.5. 1 refers to initially, 50% refers to the increment here, 0 0.5. So therefore, we will calculate that Pokemon stickles end up to be 63%. Okay, then next we'll calculate for the number of one piece, which will be equal to um, the 70% times the remaining 40%, then there's a minus of 4% afterwards, so we we'll end up to have 24% over here. Okay, then for number of Hello Kitty stickers okay, will be initially 30% okay, then we actually sold two thirds so we only left with one third then there's an increase by four times so now there is five units okay um, which means that one unit then increase by four times so now there's a total of five units Okay, so therefore this will end up to be 50%. So the total will be equal to 63% plus 24% plus 50% which will end up to be 137%. Then the increase percent will be equal to 137% minus initially 100% which give us 37%. So there's an increase of 37%. This 37% will actually be the 111 that's reflected over here. So we actually calculate it to be 1% is equivalent to 3 stickles. Then for Hello Kitty stickles, okay, Hello Kitty stickles is 30%. So 30% would be equals to 90. Okay, and um, Pokemon will be 70% or 60%. 7 times 6 is 42. 
So we have 42%. To be equals to 1 to 6. And for the last one, it'll be 7 times 4, which is 28%. To be 84. Okay, that will be the answer. Um, okay, this is Hello Kitty. Um, 42% of it for Pokemon. And this will be for One Piece. Okay, that's answer for question 3. There's two more questions available, which is question 1 and question 2. The solution for question 1 would be um, 120 apples, 280 oranges. Uh, you can view this in our previous episode, episode 41. Yes, okay. Then the other question available is question 2. The answer is 200 chicken, 300 pork. Feel free to browse our channel if you need the solution for question 1, it's the previous episode. In the meantime, feel free to drop us an email if you've got any challenging questions. We also welcome feedbacks and comments. Our contact details are in the description below. That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. We hope that you have learned this concept. This is Miss J signing off. Bye-bye!